Hi guys, it's Amber and today I will be reviewing the Shumera light bulb foundation that just came out I think a couple days ago and I will also be doing a swatch and um, tutorial on the Giorgio Armani fall collection base and eye makeup palette in shade number two as you can see, I have no makeup on right now and my skin's condition is actually quite bad because um, I got facial done yesterday so I have a lot of redness like around my nose and everything so it would really test out how well the Shimura foundation is like how well the coverage is and um, how well it blends and stuff like that so um, yeah anyways, so it comes in this packet like this and it's actually doing a promotion right now so whenever you purchase their light bulb foundation, they will give you the sponge, this light bulb sponge for free. And usually it costs about like, I think like at least $25 US, looks like this. And this is the packaging of the light bulb foundation. And looks like this. And I am using the shade 574 and it's called uh, Light Sand. So this is how it looks on the back of my hand. And it's extremely moisturizing, like it feels very moisturizing on my hand. And after I spread it out, you can see the coverage is is decent as well. So I just want to teach you guys how to use the sponge with this foundation. And first thing, you just pump an amount like this or however much you use usually. And just dab with the fatter side of the sponge and just dab on your face like a stamp like this so just dab like a stamp so after it's evenly spread out roll like this And just do the same for your entire face. So I just finished applying the foundation and um, I, I really like it. The coverage is decent and um, it's probably one of the most moisturizing foundation I've ever used. Um, in my life so far. So just based on that, I will definitely repurchase um, this foundation again. I'm not sure how long it lasts because it's my first time trying it on my face. So um, I will update you guys about how well this foundation lasts on my face, especially under super super hot weather like the one in Taiwan. So um, yeah, I will keep you guys updated with that. And um, I'm just gonna finish applying the rest of my um, foundation routine right now. So I just finished with my face makeup and uh, now I am going to do the swatch for the Giorgio Armani Fall 2013 face and eye palette and it looks like this. The top is the blush and it looks like this on the back of my hand so this is how it looks on my cheeks and the bottom is a three color eyeshadow in like a green earthy tone 
I'm just gonna swatch the colors first on the back of my hand. So this is the swatch for the three shades of the eyeshadow. The darkest shade is the one on the left side and the sparkly green is the one in the middle and so on. So like this and this is how it looks. I'm going to create a more evening look with um, this eyeshadow palette. I'm actually going to start with the darkest shade, this one. Do not apply it all the way to the inner corners of your eyes because we will apply another shade for that area later. Apply the same shade on the lower two thirds of your outer lower eyelids. Then use a small blending brush and apply the middle sparkly green shade on your natural crease line. Apply this green shade on your brow bone and the inner corners of your top eyelids. So this is how my eyes look after I apply the Giorgio Armani um, eyeshadow from this palette. I have to say I'm not very pleased with how the shades turned out on my eyelids. I'm, I don't know, I just felt like they looked so much better just on the back of my hands. But I found this eyeshadow to be extremely hard to blend. It's like even when I'm using a blending brush, it just doesn't blend very well which is extremely surprising to me because I mean it just glided on my hands so smoothly and I'm not sure if it's because the green shade just doesn't very suit me like my skin tone and stuff just not really liking it at all like on my eyes but one good thing about this face and eye palette is that I love the blush it goes on so nicely on my cheeks and I think it's this shade is suitable for most skin tones and it's got it's got just the right amount of sparkles in there if you're not really a huge fan of Giorgio Armani I don't really think it's worth it to buy this product because I'm in a rush to head out right now so I'm just gonna skip right on to announcing the winners for last video's giveaway so the winners for the two uh, party kits from Beauty Maker, these two are Travel for Life 141 and H A N H T N G U Y E N 4. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, so I just spelt it out. And lastly, the winner for the So Right Hand Travel Set is T T L E E. So, all three winners, please go to my Facebook page and inbox message me your full name and full address, and I will contact you as soon as these prizes are shipped out to you. So that's it for this week and just before I go, um, the product for this week's free giveaway is the Leowell Perfect Jumbo Concealer, the one that I've used before in my previous um, tutorials. I love this concealer, it's one of the, I guess you can say, top 3 moisturizing concealers I've ever used um, so far. and it provides decent coverage as well. I find that most moisturizing concealers don't really cover up very much, but this one does. So I will be giving away a free full-size Leo L Perfect Jumbo Concealer 
again um, the winner will be chosen from anyone who subscribes my channel um, likes my Facebook page or just simply comment on the video and the winner will be selected randomly as well I will be doing a review and swatch of the Chanel collection I think I got a total of four products so that's what I will be doing in my next video as well as the eyebrow tutorial that I promised one of the viewers so stay tuned I will see you next week bye